Hear me hearties, and welcome to the State of Decay 2 stream. I'm your captain, Jeffrey Card, and today we're dispensing with the usual zombie shenanigans in favor of a voyage across the Sea of Thieves. You can see that I'm wearing my red shirt so that if, the, so that if I take a wound, the crew will not be able to see me bleed. And as you cannot see, I am also wearing my brown pants. Now, our navigate. <coughs> 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 Oh, oh, excuse me. Um, so our navigator on this voyage uh, is the head of community from Rare Limited, the creators of Sea of Thieves, uh, Christina McGrath. Christina, welcome. Hi, Jeffrey. Uh, thank you for having me. It's lovely to be here. <laughs> Christina has joined us all the way from the UK. There's probably going to be a slight communications delay, uh, but we really appreciate her taking this time off work hours uh, to come and help us out. Um, we've also got with us a couple of uh, people from Undead Labs who are avid Sea of Thieves players, uh, starting with uh, Walter Williams. Hello, Walter. Hey, what's up, Jeffrey? Hey, so Walter, uh, you guys have seen him before on the stream. Uh, he's uh, one of the designers uh, who is most responsible for the experience of Heartland. Uh, he's given us tours of that before, and today he's going to be one of our experts uh, showing us through Sea of Thieves. Uh, we've also got uh, Sebastian Hutt who is a technical artist. Uh, and one of my favorite things to do with technical artists is ask them, what is a technical artist? Uh, because most people out there don't know. <laughs> do you think you give people a quick rundown of what your job is real fast? Yeah, so uh, I work with artists and uh, I, write, I write some code to help them uh, do better art. <laughs> so I, but it's pretty broad term right now. I do uh, a lot of procedural uh, art. So I make a lot of tools for procedural environments. That's awesome. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, thank you. And so we're so glad to have you here. Uh, and also uh, reading your chat messages and funneling us questions and also kind of keeping track of the schedule a little bit is uh, fan favorite Lucy Tibbetts, uh, who is joining us from off camera. Hi, Lucy. Hey, survivors. Prepare yourselves for pirate puns. And uh, Jeffrey, we have our first question for oh. all of you. Why is the rum gone? Why? Who, who took the rum? It wasn't me. It's just grog for me, thank you very much. <laughs> Incoming sloop, front starboard. Oh crap, do we need to get into the gameplay now? Let's get moving. We can just get moving. I'm just pointing it out that they are within the horizon and pointed here. Well, it looks like uh, we've timed the daylight appropriately. It was it was basically midnight when we got the stream started, but uh, now the sun's coming up and this game is looking gorgeous. What does it mean, by the way? So I've played a little bit of Sea of Thieves. I'm going to be the resident noob. I'm just going to be trying to keep everything on camera. Um, what does it mean when there's an evil red tornado on the horizon? That means you can, go, score, right? you can go fight some Ashen Lords. So there's an Ashen Lord waiting for you over there, um, ready to fight, uh, which is one of the uh, pieces of content we added late, uh, late, last, late last year, I think. We added Ashen Winds, um, Ashen Lords, to Sea of Thieves with Ashen Winds, which was in summer last year. So yeah, basically, if you see stuff in the sky, if you head for it, you will get into a fight of some sort. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's what the, that's what you get when you go to an, an Ashen Tornado. But you've got all sorts. You can see we've got a Reaper's chest somewhere in a in a shipwreck off to the right. Um, and when I say right, what I actually mean is the east. Um, <laughs> and then obviously we're doing the um, the Merchant Voyage, which we are. We're currently tracking the seagulls in the um, in the sky, which we are pointing towards right now. Holy crap! Uh, so, <laughs> Walter has got a uh, a pet here. I feel like wait. I think I have take a pet. it. Take what? the pet. Take, take the, the pet, pet out of my hands. Take the pet out of my hands. Oh look Thanks. at this. oh <laughs> look at this guy. Oh, he's so cute. Now pet the pet. How do, how do I pet the? Is it, oh. Oh, the right trigger. So whatever I'm holding, so this is actually, this game has got oh. some really nice, like uh, accessible controls here. Basically the rule is you get a tool in your hand and you pull the right trigger and you use that tool. And so you can do all kinds of things as long as you can figure out how to get the right tool in your hand. Uh, what do I do if I want to not be cuddling a wolf right now? I mean, I don't X. know why I would, but X, X. there we go. Hey there. Oh, look at this little guy. Okay, so we are on a voyage right now. Uh, do, do you want to tell, give us a little bit of background about what we're doing, where we're headed, Christina? Yeah, absolutely. So right now we are on the hunt for a missing shipment. Um, this type of voyage is called Lost Shipments. It, it comes as no surprise that basically a shipment of the Merchant Alliance got lost and oh. the job for us Drop is it. to go recover it. So is this it right here? 
No, this is not. So this is just the start. So as you can see, we are at kind of the first destination. Um, there we go. There's our next clue, I think, is waiting for us in there. Yeah. Um, we're at the first destination here, and we'll be getting a clue, hopefully, that's just been uncovered that will take us on to the next clue site. Oh, I just got a crate of extraordinary minerals. Should I put this in the hold somewhere? You can. So I'm just nipping under, under deck. Uh, sorry, into the um, in the ocean just to make sure that we're not missing the key. So we'll so we find this hopefully in the stream. We'll find the ship or the shipwreck. Um, but if you find the key along the journey, you'll also get into the, loot. the captain's quarters with yeah, exactly all the loot. Okay. We gotta go to Picaroon uh, next. That's just north uh, northeast. Okey-dokey. So when we first talked about playing Sea of Thieves together, I got nervous because I, I am not, you know, I was not very familiar with Sea of Thieves and I was worried like, oh, I'm a brand new player. How could I play with all of these high level people? Multiplayer games usually have, you know, this a problem with like who's at what, you know, at what level and how do we rebalance the whole game? But as I understand it, there's no levels in this game. Is that true? <laughs> Yeah, so basically you are able to play the game the exact same way and you have all the exact same tools from like when you jump into whether you're like hundreds of hours deep. Um, it's just about being able to master the uh, the tools you've got at your disposal, disposal. And obviously as you kind of move through the game, the way you, you kind of progress is you level up in your various different trading companies or in Renown with Seasons and you unlock um, cool cosmetics that kind of tell people you meet on the seas a little bit more about the journeys you've um, you've been on while you've been sailing. Yeah, so I, I practiced a little bit. So, so my sister plays this game sometimes uh, with, with some of her friends. She, so she gave me sort of a basic rundown of how to play, which was very, very helpful. But we actually... So the first time that I actually jumped in and was really playing this game... Um, we were we were playing in sort of a noob area on some noob island, just uh, you know collecting some treasure, whatever. And then there was this there was this guy who showed up who decided that all he wanted to do was just murder a bunch of noobs for no reason. Uh, but the thing that I loved about it was so so you know first he like he killed us, he burned our ship, he destroyed all of our stuff, and we you know went back to the went back to uh, you know one of the islands, and we're like okay we're gonna go on the voyage again. This time he'll have moved on, gotten bored, uh, and we went back and he was still there. He was still camping the island. It was like, oh no, who is this idiot? But the thing that was nice was that, you know, basically we we were able to use what little knowledge we had of the game to outsmart the guy. We found a rowboat on the island and basically he was sitting there camping our ship, getting, you know, getting ready to attack us as soon as we came back. And so we just got in a rowboat with all of the treasure that we'd found from the island, uh, got on the internet, found the map and like pointed ourselves in the right direction using my compass and just like rode away. And he was burning our ship in the background and we were just like, we do not care. We've got our rowboat, we've got our treasure, that's all that matters. We can replace the boat. Boats are nothing. Treasure is what matters in this world. And yeah, so, yeah. It's, a good, it's a good strategy. All you want to do is cash in your loot. So if you've got to make a smart play and run away, then that's what you've got to do. So I just love the way that this game sort of, it just gives you a set of tools and then really, I mean, a really robust set of tools. And then it's just up to you to figure out how you're going to tell this story of, you know, your life as a pirate on the, uh, on the Sea of Thieves. So how, yeah, and that's, yeah, go ahead. No, I was going to say, that's kind of the one thing that we really love seeing is that it doesn't matter when you jump in, you always have a slightly different story to tell about each session because of the kind of things that have happened to you on your journey. And that's not exactly the design intent, but it's so amazing to, you know, the game's been out almost three years now and people are still having these kind of wacky experiences. Um, just because they've got so many cool different things in the sandbox that they're able to explore. Uh, sorry to interrupt, Cap Max. There's some loot on the beach as well as uh, the Reaper's uh, chest is in the water near us. I'm going downstairs for a spare. Cool. I will go grab the loot. I think we've got our next clue on the island because I can also yep. see a shimmering blue bottle. Now oh, we get the key already? Sweet. Here, Sorry, I'll help, Jeffrey. I'll help I didn't mean carry to carry this stuff. Hmm. So basically, you just sort of like, you're not really relying on like a mini map or radar or anything. You're just looking around in the world, and you're and if you see treasure sitting on the beach, you go grab that treasure. It's not uh, you're not really playing the HUD in this game very much. Oh, I am very bad at climbing ladders. Here we go. 
No, that's exactly it. Um, and actually, I'm not, I'm not afraid to say that before I started playing Sea of Thieves, I wasn't that familiar with the compass. Um, but now I'm very good at navigating, thanks to the, <laughs> the many hours I've put in going, is north, left or right, um, I can now finally work it out. So it's all good. It's taught you know a whole new generation of people to navigate with uh, the old tools, which is awesome. Yeah, and I it's also really great for immersion. Yeah, totally. Like, like every all of the tools you use, none of them are in the HUD. They're all in your hands. They're all things you actually get out. In fact, like if you, you don't just have like a mini map, you can just sort of pop up anytime you want to. There's a map on a table inside the ship. In fact, I'm in the wrong room for it because I only know the sloop. But uh, there is a map somewhere <laughs> on this ship that you can check. You can't just sort of like pop it up in your head all the time. Yep. So it looks like we're to, going to Scurvy Isle. Well, next. Um, quick reminder, you... sorry to interrupt, oh. but quick reminder to plug the sweepstakes we are running. Oh, that's we right. Also... So we've got a giveaway going on. So uh, a lot of our, a lot of the fans of State of Decay have been mourning for a long time that we don't have our own merch store. But it is actually possible to get State of Decay merch if you go to the Sea of Thieves merch store. And so we're actually running a giveaway right now on the stream where if you type exclamation point enter into the chat, uh, you can actually win one of these t-shirts that's available on the uh, on the Sea of Thieves merch, uh, merch store. So these are State of Decay uh, t-shirts that are tied into Sea of Thieves. Actually, you know, now that the sales are down, uh, I can show you actually that we're actually running a State of Decay ship right now. Let me get out here on the uh, prow. Is this the prow? Show off the figurehead. The Show off the figurehead. Okay, yeah, the so, figurehead is super cool. So yeah, so the figurehead. Well, I don't think I can see it from here. Let's look at Jump these in sails the sails first. <laughs> oh, look at the sails first. Hold on a second. So we've got these sort of nasty-looking ripped sails that have got the uh, State of Decay Skull Eagle logo, but kind of a cutlassy, muskety version of it. And then down here, you can see we've got these uh, this figurehead. That is, uh, oh man, that water is moving beneath me so fast. I feel like I'm going to die. Uh, so we've got this the grasping hands, animated grasping hands covered in chains uh, reaching forward. Uh, this is probably one of the best pieces of State of Decay merch out there. Uh, it's not in the real world. It's in the game, but <laughs> this thing is gorgeous. Uh, hey, Jeffrey, a lot of people are asking, how do we get this ship set it? Oh, so uh, I think Christina could probably explain it better than I can. I think there's a merchant that you buy this stuff from uh, back at the uh, Sanctuary type islands. Is that right? Yeah, correct. So if you head to your outpost, um, you can go purchase it at the Pirate Emporium uh, with ancient coins. And you can do that whether you're in game or before you boot in as well. So yeah, it's available um, in our kind of in game emporium, if you will, um, amongst a whole array of ship sets. But obviously, this one is the best. <laughs> yeah, obviously, and and as I understand it, um, there's like a there's like a cycling stock in that uh, in, in that store, right? So they're actually there might be a little bit of a limited time before uh, the players want to grab it before they uh, before it sort of expires. Yeah, no, we do. We rotate what's on on sale um, quite a lot. So if you want to make sure you can bag something, it's best to do it immediately. <laughs> so I think I can see. I've just I think I've just clocked a. These stormy well, seas. Like, oh, so that storm's coming in. Yeah, is this yeah. just a storm that happened to come in, or is this because of the place we're in? No, so the storms move around the map, basically. Um, there's an amazing set of our community who have actually sort of dedicated themselves to following the storm and trying to work out the meteorological impact, <laughs> um, which is incredible. If we head south, you should be able to see the flock of seagulls. Pirate um, storm chaser. Hovering. Yeah, it's basically like Twister, but specifically in Sea of Thieves. Oh, also, we, or have we got the merch just on our left here? Is that what? That's what it is. Whoop. I don't see. I don't think so. I'm gonna just quickly jump in and have a look. I'm actually not on ship. I found a superior rowboat that didn't say anything, and then you guys took off. So I'm chasing oh. you with the rowboat. Uh, should we? Should we maybe slow down? <laughs> no, this is classic. This is classic Sea of Thieves right here. Oh yeah. This is yes. You don't understand. Chasing down a, chasing down a galleon with a rowboat is. You're going on um, an adventure. Yeah. <laughs> well, you guys are up to your crazy water shenanigans. Uh, one of our moderators, Mark, is asking which came first um, for Christina, uh, the crazy water simulator or the pirate game idea. <laughs> That's a really good question. Um, so it came hand in hand, um, <laughs> I think, to some extent. The, the development team had a very kind of clear vision for what they wanted to achieve. And I think making sure the water was 
beautiful was part of that. So it's like very chicken or egg. They're very intrinsic to one another, which is the diplomatic answer I think I can give. <laughs> yeah, though this, I, I was actually commenting to my sister about this when we were playing it. That this is probably some of the most gorgeous water I have ever seen in a video game. <laughs> so well done. Oh yeah, it's stunning, especially when you get a nice vista. Obviously we're heading into a bit of rain um, at the minute, but when you get kind of an amazing sunset vista and like the waves are, are rolling in, it's just like perfect chill out background. Yep, so we have a clue in the water here by the looks of things, which is cool. Uh, I'll just go for a long way back. I'm just gonna catch a mermaid. You're gonna what? I'm gonna catch a mermaid. That's a thing? Yes. Well, that's interesting. Looks like you jumped. Yeah, you jumped in after something. Find what did you get? Oh, we well, finished I, it. I just got an yeah. achievement. So was there no key? There was no key, and there was no shipwreck as far as I could see. I just jumped in the water Sweet. and retrieved this beautiful manifest. Nice. Oh, which is rats. inexplicable, but very efficient. Wow. Well, I'm getting all kinds of like achievements and quests from this. So great. You guys are just that good. Yes. So are we just going to... I told you the pro help. Do we have to, like, deliver this back to somebody? Is that what's going on, or...? We do. We have to go deliver that to the Merchant Alliance to um to make bank, effectively. <laughs> All right. I'm going to try to move away from the storm. Uh, so closest looks like outpost is through the storm to our south. Um, other than that, we could go... Uh, do west we want to get into some trouble on the way home? <laughs> so one I'll way to get into south. some trouble I say we, is yeah I say we go through the storm sorry sorry X no it's all good one way we could get into some trouble is pick up the reaper's chest and let yeah. everyone know on the map that we're carrying it around yeah if anyone wants to fight us <laughs> okay that sounds good so by the way I'm, I'm looking around at what Seb is doing here uh, running this ship is like a full-time job, just getting it to go the right direction and the right speed. Seven's doing it all on his own right now. Uh, but Dude, that's actually single... something that, if I knew what I was doing, I could probably be helping him, couldn't I? He's singling hey, a galleon, that's insane. Somebody, uh, DJ Sharp in the chat was saying that, FYI, the harpoons really help in turning the galleon, so maybe oh. you could help them out that way. Uh, no, Jeffrey, you don't get to do that move yet. That's an advanced move. <laughs> it. I mean, there's, there's no time job. like the present to start learning, right? <laughs> so can you fire the harpoons just into anything? Is, like, is it like if Relative, you've got you an to hit island the ground. You need to see floor. Yeah. Which okay. is in Wokwe. Very That's well here. Cool. I, I hear that you can actually, like, fire people out of the cannon and then retrieve them again with the harpoon. Is that is that right? Yep. That's correct, yep. Yeah. You can even shoot your pets out of the cannon. Obviously, you wouldn't recommend it in real life. Put my dog down, Jeffrey. <laughs> That's not me. Oh, no. What are you doing? Christina. <laughs> it's okay. I'll be back. Oh, my dog. <laughs> my poor chili boy. My poor chili boy. <laughs> are you using a fire? That's my monkey. What What are you doing with to my left. monkey? Okay. Christina. It's my monkey now. It's fine. Uh, the other way. on the left. No, we won't shoot you. Oh, we got the outpost on the left, did you say? Yeah. There you go. Back to business. All right. So if I was actually helpful, I would be doing things like setting the sail length and setting the sail angle uh, to support Seb uh, as he's starting to steer the ship. Yes. But I'm not helpful. I will say, Seb is amazing. He's single-handedly doing this galleon. He and is. I feel very lazy. And you're putting me to shame, Seb. Yeah, so like, if if you were play if I was playing solo, I would just have a sloop, right, which has a single mast, and and so just one set of sails to manage, and you manage them from the same platform. What is this? Is this the poop deck? Uh, from the same platform as the uh, as the wheel, so you can just sort of run around and take care of it all yourself. But Seb running around this entire three mast ship is kind of crazy. Yeah, when you're on a sloop, Try you can manage best. it all over there with you. You've got your anchor and. Um, your sail ropes and your wheel all within very close kind of quarters, but a galleon is a is an absolute job. <laughs> oh, hey, I should remind folks, uh, since it's about uh, 3.20 right now, 
we are doing a giveaway. So if you're watching us uh, right now live on the stream, uh, you should enter uh, exclamation point enter to get in on the giveaway. Uh, we are giving away these awesome State of Decay slash Sea of Thieves uh, shirts. We're going to give away two of them by the end. So uh, definitely enter and uh, we'll, 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 see, we'll see who wins. Front sale's going up. Yep, sell up. Okay, Mid so should already be up. Is this why we let Jeffrey use the harpoon? Yes, we can. Uh, he can use the harpoon now, not in the middle of the storm. Oh, our ship's filling with water. All right, all right, here we go. So, do I try to pull in towards the uh, the the dock here? Yep. So, if you hold oh. the right trigger down, you'll be able to kind of pull yourself in. You can also lock it. I believe on PC it's R. So, if you want to catch a megalodon and surf it. Yep. <laughs> what? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what button this is going to be. Wow. We are pulling right up against this dock. Yep. Yeah. What the Isn't heck? This is a side park. Homie can drive, yo. Homie what? can straight drive. <laughs> Very nice parking job. Wow. Look when at I that. Try, Look at that. When I try to get anywhere near the dock when I'm playing solo, uh, it's hilarious. I, I end up sort of crashing into a nearby rock and then just jumping. I I that's all I can do. Okay, so now so we just take all our booty and sell it? Right. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to know the manifest with though. I don't. I've, have I've got this book in my hand right now. Uh, Christina, where do I take this book? That is. So, are you following me? Over yes, here? I'm following you. So, if you come speak to senior trader Mandy over here and, and sell it, sell. Okay. Yeah, you should get a good. Nice good four thousand gold. gold. Nice four K. <laughs> I'll do. That like doubles how much more I am. At 4K, I'll get you some nice stuff at the seaport, yeah. So I have not named this monkey. I wonder if anybody in the chat has got like a good idea for a monkey name. Oh, oh, That's RIP great. to your monkey name. Yeah, RIP to your name. <laughs> name your planet, homie. Okay, chat. so so, so, so the, the one to beat is, of course, Monkey McMonkface. Uh, but if anybody's got a better one than that. Underscore, or not underscore, what am I talking about? Exclamation point, enter, right? Oh, yes. Exclamation point enter is the thing uh, that people want to press if they want to enter to possibly receive a State of Decay slash Sea of Thieves shirt. So we have a question from, I think I'm saying this right, a kind of shark. Hey, mm -hmm. Christina, so what other games that, um, have you worked on for Rare? Um, so I've been working at Rare for around two years. So I've worked predominantly on Sea of Thieves. I've worked on Battletoads. And um, obviously, have been part of kind of announcing Everworld, and will be part of bringing that to life as well. So, uh, just the, the three kind of games, kind of directly at the minute, but hoping to add a few more to the list um, during my career here. I have got some favourites, though. And it will come <laughs> as no surprise to anyone that one of the reasons I joined Rare is because I love Banjo Kazooie, and I also love Goldeneye as well. I don't know if anyone remembers Goldeneye, oh, but yeah. I spent most of my youth That's slappers playing only, slaps only, the good days, mm -hmm. big time. So uh, yeah, really, really, um, really chuffed to be working where I do, especially on a game like Sea of Thieves. It's just so fun, and it's very rare that you know you you do something all day long and then you just log off and stop talking about Sea of Thieves and then log on to your Xbox and play it for a good solid three, four hours. So yeah, definitely privileged to, to work on it. No, people like Jeffrey, life. sorry, people like Jeffrey and Joe don't know what you mean at all. <laughs> One bit. <laughs> Yeah, so this is so I gotta say, I mean, it, it is really similar for me. Uh, you know, playing State of Decay is the first game I've worked on where I actually did want to play it uh, in my in my spare time. Uh, so this is I totally understand where you're coming from. I'm sorry to interrupt. I know we're streaming and doing the important work. Do we want to do another one? Because I have a, another oh, yeah. merchant run, or we can chase down someone. There's a skeleton ship we can take down. Back let's there. do that. Oh, let's, let's do, do some let's, let's do some combat. Fighting. We should definitely do something that's Fight. full of conflict. So that I can get killed and go to purgatory and everyone can miss the battle. Oh, almost caught you. How <laughs> many cannon balls have we got? Uh, probably around 50 or 60. We, might... I don't, we don't have a full set. We have 83. Oh, you all want some help raising the anchor? So this is actually one of the really cool things I enjoy about Sea of Thieves is uh, how they actually build uh, the multiplayer into their movement. I, I probably, or the, the items, uh, the... The sails are harder to deal with alone. It feels like on a galleon. Uh, that's not a, what is that called? Capstan? This is a capstan, capstan right? Yeah, the capstan. Yeah, yeah capstan. 
like you it, it's faster with more people the larger the ship like that's just smart design yeah, I think honestly, like, we're probably giving people uh, a, an inaccurate view of the experience of playing this game by watching Seb run the entire ship by himself. Because <laughs> actually, what we should be doing probably is coordinating. He's, he'll be like, you know, sails up, sails down. You know, the, each of us who's controlling the sails will be trying to catch the wind the right way to sort of maximize their effectiveness while he's at the wheel. Um, and, and but yeah, but but it's also possible to do it on your own. It's like there's nothing in the game that just sort of artificially says you have to do this in a co-op way. We're just sort of going to put an interaction here where it's just waiting until two people do it. Everything can be done solo. It's just much easier and more fun if you're doing it with multiple people. And each thing can sort of respond, each Somebody aspect of the behind. game can respond well to having more people involved with it. Oh, we left Cat Mex behind. What? It's all good. I've just come, I've gone to get some more cannonballs, so I'll be I'll catch a mermaid and be with you shortly. It's okay, good. great. So tell me a little Everybody bit about gets... Catching Mermaids. What 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 is Catching Mermaids? Sure. So it's basically if you fall off your ship or get left behind, the way to return back to your ship is to catch a mermaid. So it's basically sea of thieves fast travel back to your ship effectively. So you can't um, do it all the time. It's it's when you're away from your ship that a mermaid will spawn and give you the opportunity to jump back to it. Correct. Yeah. And there's a bit of an interesting sort of meta with it as well, because if you're trying to sneak aboard someone's ship, Mm -hmm. then it's very likely that your mermaid will appear and it gives you away. So it's kind of intelligent play that you have to to kind of do around to make sure that you're not clocked. Because if your mermaid goes up, it, go, it comes up in proximity to you, not your ship, obviously. So it's easy for you to return to your ship. Um, so if you're sneaking around being somewhere you shouldn't be, your mermaid can often be a giveaway. I feel like I should have given people a seasickness warning uh, or a motion sickness warning before watching this stream. Coming up on the skeleton ship. Oh, what? Yeah, front right, front starboard. Uh, this is load up on cannonballs. Wait, is this food? shipwreck pass? This is, I hate this island in a galleon with all these rocks. What is this called? Mm -hmm. I know this island. Shipwreck, shipwreck Bay? Bay? Shipwreck Bay, thank you. Uh, no disrespect to you guys' work. It's a great island. I he haven't crashed here his name. Times. Yeah. <laughs> is, so, am I seeing the right guy? Is he behind that rock? Yep. Off in the distance? Do you see the multiple colors? Uh, I could, he's just gray and hazy in the distance. Really? So no, uh, wait, there's no, a sloop so. right here. There's yeah, a there is a sloop. This rock. And there's also a player. It looks like a player brig or a player galleon on the horizon as well. Um, so we're surrounded by people. Oh, I'm so off these ship. are all real people. I'm off ship. Oh. oh. Uh -huh. Yeah, so the skelly galleon oh. is over to the right. Can you see Oh, this that? is a yes. yeah, behind is skelly. Us, behind you guys, there was a... Uh, a ship poking out of the water too, by which I mean, I think a sunken ship. There was that oh, pole there. Yeah, I saw that. All right, I've pissed off the uh, the skelly yeah. sloop. So what am I doing? How can I help? Shoot, shoot. cannons. Shoot, shoot <laughs> cannons. Okay. Uh, do yeah. I need to go get a That's cannonball? Skelly. Is that is that? Yep. Where do I get a cannonball? There's red barrels. Uh, below, below deck. Below deck. Below deck. Oh, red barrels. I see. Hand. Okay, cool. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna grab. Fire bombs, I guess. Fire bombs are good. All right, yeah. I got a fire Any bomb. Kind. But yeah, you also want cannonballs in the top. So I organize those barrels because I'm weird. Go back to those barrels. Oh yeah. Top one has cannonballs and chain shot. Bottom left has throwables. Bottom right has special cannonballs. Okay, then. Uh, Man, you got your strategies down. Yeah, I'm a little, I'm a little weird about it. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, is my fire bomb good enough? Uh, yeah, you can shoot fire bombs out of the cannons. Okay, cool. Well, then let me. Um, I'll grab some chain shot and some regular shot as well. Oh, are they still so while around. you guys are loading? Oh, here they are. While you guys are loading, we had some name suggestions for the monkey, oh, including okay. Sir That's Banana, cool. Sir Spanks a lot, Spanky the monkey, Negan, <laughs> Captain Scratchy, no, no, Professor I... Thumb, Captain Bananas, and Little Sebastian, which seemed to be a chat favorite briefly. <laughs> oh, big um, time. Also, <laughs> Furious George good. and Captain Stan. <laughs> Okay, Furious George. I really like that one. Right, that was so a good can... one. Little Sebastian is a favorite though too. Okay, so I allow it. I tried to pick up multiple types of cannonball, and I think I just ended up with the one right the boring kind. Right side. So I guess I'll just load all these cannons and let people who are yeah. smarter than me fire them. Oh, you can watch as we take this out. It's just a sloop. Yeah, boring cannons still make holes, fix... so it's all good. I'll fix it. You guys keep firing. Oh, are we taking water? I'll go. We got ahead, but it's fine. Bucket time. 
All right, we got. I think it's uh, oh, Ronan. Ronan. Yeah, it's like it's singing. Oh. oh, good job. So if we race sales, we can make sure we can collect the loot. Uh, Sid, okay. going up. I got it. All right. So did you already uh, bail out the uh, lower decks? I got bailing. I got cool. it. Good. Okay, like so I was saying, Ronan Oji son yes. uh, is asking us if the Sea of Thieves outfit in State of Decay 2 is ever coming back. Oh, yes, it absolutely is. So, uh, yes, we've got those on a cycle right now. So, basically, every month automatically, uh, the bounty broker rotates his stock. And so we've got a uh, we've got a Sea of Thieves inspired bounty pack uh, that I don't remember which month it's coming back. It is definitely on its way back though. So you can get sort of the Kraken hoodie. You can get the uh, the blunderbuss gun. You can get I think we've got a Cutlass in there. We got all kinds of Sea of Thieves type gear. So uh, uh, yeah, I can't tell you which month it's going to be, but it won't be that long. It's it's been out of the bounty broker for for a little while, so it's got to be coming back soon. Road We're not giving shroud. away any of this, any of the items for this game or, or ours today, right? We're just, it's just the t-shirts? It's just the t-shirts. The t-shirts are the giveaway, yeah. So we're not giving away the in-game items or anything like that. We can't give away the in-game game items from, from our game because they're not really uh, bought or acquired external to the game. They're, they're only available through gameplay. So there wouldn't be a way for Darn. us to do it. Just as a reminder, folks, you can enter by typing in exclamation point enter into the chat and we'll pick a winner sometime at the end you can get the oh shit i'm t-shirts. on the bloody mess uh nothing in the bloody mess yet okay so i don't know where i should be looking where is this sh- like are we orbiting the ship w- what's going on the ship is gunpowder some loot floating up soon hopefully yeah, so we're waiting for loot to pop up okay so the ship sinks and then the loot spawns below the water and then pops up again yeah and so I think it floats of... for a certain amount of time before it sinks again. It does, yeah. Uh, it gives you a chance to hours. breathe it. So I don't know where to look for it exactly. How long is six hours? Because that's six in-game hours, right? Yes, hmm. it's it's not it's uh, it's not that long. I've been on. I've had incidents, <laughs> sadly, where I've been sailing, um, and have sunk have a have my ship sunk, and then I've been kind of what you do is you juggle the loot, so you pick it up and keep it afloat basically by juggling it and making sure you're interacting with it um so oh. about 10, 10 minutes but I, I wouldn't wouldn't put money on that being the correct amount of time to be honest it's what it feels like to me yeah i agree with that <laughs> yeah thank you i'll take that i 100 percent agree with that <laughs> not trying to disrespect my fellow de- developers at all it just sometimes <laughs> feels like it disappears really fast all right so I think I'm probably while while we're waiting for the loot. I think I might go with Furious George. I think oops, that's I think not that, bad. That might be so. So I think Little Sebastian might be uh, a second place one, but Furious George is uh, is one I haven't heard before. And you know, as much as uh, my my whole family and I love Parks and Recreation, I think we're gonna go with Furious George. Pet successfully named. We got Furious Oops. George here. I'm gonna set him up here on the. Uh, on the prow of the ship next to Sir Peckington. There we are. Good work, whoever came up with that. So there wasn't much of that sunken ship. I did get a crate of rare tea, uh, rare tea and I left a, an explosive barrel behind. <laughs> In case somebody else uh, comes and tries to loot it? Oh, I didn't even think about that. I should leave it floating next to it. That's genius. See, you're a pirate already, Jeffrey. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, uh... So, so is it possible to just like basically follow behind another player and just steal the loot from all of their exploits? Yes, yep. <laughs> that is a thing. That is a strategy. Thank you. Oh, okay. So you swam uh, out, and now we're pulling you back. No, uh, he he picked me up with the harpoon already. Nice. But yeah, that bloody death is over there where those. Uh, <clears throat> it's not much. I on wonder if the loot. Oh, there is a skull for it. Sorry, what is a That's bloody death? Active? I mean, I know it's oh, it's that thing. ship. That ship, uh, turn around 180 degrees. Do you mm-hmm. see the seagulls? And you see the yes. little uh, point of the ship? When I got near it, it gave me a title card to the wreck of the bloody mess. Oh. So sweet. that sunken ship hey, is currently Hey, Jeffrey, going. do you think you could go into the crow's nest and look at that with the telescope so we can get a better view? Absolutely. You can spot the loot from. I, I tried to. I couldn't see it. I think maybe the seagulls are it. I don't know. Now, the one in front of us is the bloody mess. Or actually, you mean the one up to the right? This thing, right in front of us now. The one off to the left is... 
Well, I think I, I see seagulls. I see what you're talking about. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. All right. Yeah. So we've got seagulls over here. So seagulls indicate where there's something uh, down below that we might want to acquire. Yeah. It's like wreckage. Usually. Also, when when you look through your spyglass, it'll cause a, um, uh, an effect, a V effect that you can see through it to help things pop out more. Oh, got it. So yeah, I'm not, I'm, I am not picking, Seb's right. I'm not really picking anything up over there. Could it be something that you already <laughs> got, Walter? Uh, no, because I didn't go for where we killed the skelly. I feel like we killed the skelly closer to Shipwreck Bay. We've moved pretty far away from it. Yeah, yeah that's why I'm thinking. Uh, maybe we lost it. Uh, it might not be gone yet. It's just closer to all those rocks. Should we head for the fort? Yeah. Sure. sure. Okay. Is this a fort we're going to attack? Yeah, we're going to use our swords yes. and our guns. Yeah. Keep an eye out for that loot, because it's probably around here. Hey, in the meantime, uh, Todd Monette asks, does the game provide a tutorial which shows new players how not to drown? <laughs> <laughs> like, maybe, Jeffrey, maybe this is just a thought. Uh, um. We don't need to spend too much time in purgatory, but <laughs> maybe Luke's we could, since you're a killed. new player, <laughs> that well, no, or just see if a mermaid catches you. <laughs> Should I just jump off the back of the ship? Is that what you're saying? No. Jesus. No, why would you do that? Oh, God, what the... <laughs> What was that? Come back here. What was that nonsense? There is some loot. Yeah, I think that's just loot wreckage. It's not the thing we killed. But I guess that's fine. Ah, what the? Is there anything good? <laughs> Sorry, I'm going for him. Stop, I was going to Stop going that wrong. nonsense right now. So wait a minute. Am I actually damaging you? Not with the gun. What, what were you oh. damaging me with? Cap, Cap Max, you can take that, because I'm losing my harpoon skills are garbage today. So is this the loot we were looking for this whole time? Nope. Just some random so. stuff. Oh, there's something shiny over there. Shiny is a good yeah, sign. Is, I don't know what it is. is. I think this is skull oh, it's a skull. Now. Yeah, okay. Yes, I have a skull now. I don't know what the skull is, but I've got it. Did I'll I hear someone it. introducing Jeffrey to blunder bombs as well? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Twas I. Uh, all right. So I'm going to drop that skill over there. So I think I should probably eat some food, right? I don't have any food. Probably food it's in the downstairs. hole. Right? Yeah, right here. Whoa, right got here. Some bananas. Where? Where? Oh, right there. Ah, I gotcha. Open the food barrel. Ooh, coconuts. I would like a coconut. Hmm, delicious. If we have each type here, here, Teeth show, show, iron. show, uh, chat the name of my bird. Your bird? Uh, can I don't think I can see it, see it on your hand? Oh, there it is. Oh, wait, no. oh, oh, is it Edgar Allan Crow? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I love it. I love it so much. Flawless. <laughs> hey, uh, what other pets are there in the game? Is, so uh, we saw the dog and the and the monkey. Are there There's like rodents or? Looks like we had a pair of cats, crow. right? There are Can't cats. Not have cats. All right, cool. um, my cat should be out and about somewhere. In fact, let me retrieve oh, yeah. him. I saw your cat following you around on land. Yeah. Wait. So wait. So Edgar Allan Crow belongs to Walter. Is Sir Peckington? Does that belong to Seb? Yep, that's mine. Nice. All right. And then obviously Furious George is mine. And then Eric. Eric the cat. Excellent. <laughs> that's a great name. I'm going to take Named Eric after my real oh. life cat. Oh, um, oh Eric the cat. Look at you. Who you might have heard earlier trying to break oh. into the room. He he's got a it. little he's got, he's got, got a rumble. little mustache. He's got rumble on my controller because he's purring. <laughs> yeah. And he's got a little outfit on as well. Yes. Very dapper. Uh, keep metal out of your hands. Or that's just a superstition? I actually don't answer that rare. <laughs> <laughs> Are we heading into the storm? Yeah. And we're kind of grazing it, but oh, we're getting attacked by some skellies. Just ignoring them. So, uh, Christina, as someone from uh, the UK, when you hear an American trying to do the pirate accent, where does it sound like we think we're from? Um, <laughs> good question. <laughs> I mean, pirates can be from anywhere. So, I don't... I don't think it's necessarily a like a weird, jarring, that's inauthentic type vibe. Mainly it's just entertaining. I really enjoyed your introduction. I'm sad that you're not, you still haven't got the accent on right oh, now, to be honest. No one would have tolerated that for more than 30 seconds. I don't, I don't think. <laughs> I, 
I feel I feel damp <laughs> from being out here. I think it's just like I'm just so used to what it feels like to live in Seattle. Uh, <laughs> this is the immersion factor is too great in this it's, game. It's, it's starting getting, to affect you psychologically. <laughs> I'm starting to get like seasonal affective disorder. <laughs> you could look at the shiny skull again. Oh, that's true. It is pretty. It's like it's like, it's like one of those happy lights. Full spectrum skull. I wonder if uh, one of the interesting like interesting side effects of having stuff like the skull and everything be loot you hold in your hand that their visual rank is very obvious once you get used to it. Like you can tell what, how much it, it's worth at yeah. a glance, depending on it. It's just a, another really cool little design edge to the game. Hey, do we? Oh, have, we see that behind you. Do we, we like? Oh, it's. Do you have different sails oh, up now? No, we have three sails. Each sail has a different design on it. Oh, yeah. got it. Yeah. Were you starting to say so something? So two things. Say? Oh, yeah. Uh, yes. Apparently, you can fish for stormfish. Sorry. Uh, and two, somebody was asking if the pets actually serve a purpose, or are they only cosmetic? Yeah, so you can fish all sorts of, if I'm completely honest. So we've just had our festival of fishing, which is challenging people to fish all sorts of trophy fish, regular fish, and sometimes you can even fish up keys and things, which is quite exciting. Um, and yeah, no, the pets are purely cosmetic. And because the pets are kind of um, bought using ancient coins, it's uh, one of the kind of the design intent is just to make sure that it's never pay to win. And it's purely aesthetic uh, for your enjoyment that you have um, that you have a pet. So they don't do anything special except charm you. Your happiness. Oh man, I had, to, I had to hold that temptation so bad. He was on the plank with his fishing rod out, <laughs> just asking to get knocked off the ship. Man, come on! Is that now. a thing? I can, is that a thing that can happen? Could I have been knocked off? Yeah, uh, blunder yeah. bombs have physics. So, oh, got it. <laughs> well, now I know to be careful. <laughs> <laughs> the amount of times I've been knocked off the front by a crewmate in the middle of something important—that's <laughs> a part of the fun of the game. So where are we headed now? Are we headed to a fort? Is that what we were gonna do? See that skull in the sky? Uh, oh yes. Oh, we're doing that. Nice. Let's I go. see a skull. Is, is this how we're go. gonna get me into purgatory? Yeah. Yes. yes. <laughs> One hundred. All right. So, um, just so you know, Jeffrey. Yeah. Bananas burn the fastest. Pineapples. Does pineapples burn the slowest? I think pineapples burn the slowest, right? Mm -hmm. You mean like how fast they heal you? How fast you cook them. Oh, oh, so, okay, so when you're cooking something, like, what's the point of cooking something, first off? Um, for fish, I think, so anything raw, you don't throw, oh, actually, we forgot to do this on our maiden voyage. Uh, do you know how to bring out your tankard? Uh, I can probably figure it out. This is where we filter seawater into drinking water for the crew. So you'll sometimes get scurvy in the bottom left, so go ahead and drink what you've got in there, and then fill it up again. Drinking water. We can get scurvy in this game? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, if you eat raw food, you throw up and everything. So you drink yeah, this to help dangerous. with So go ahead and get another Go ahead and get another cup of it. We've got a grog here, yeah. And then go ahead and drink it. And that way you can eat raw chicken. I'm 100% <laughs> lying, by the way. That is not how you, you don't eat raw chicken. Just you're don't just trying to get me chicken. drunk is what you're doing. I'm not getting you drunk. I'm helping fight scurvy. <laughs> So where I was for. Okay, so so there was already a motion sickness warning on this stream. We're having we're having a serious problem now. So a good way to tell how how long it's going to last is to take out your your musical instrument because your playing oh. will get a little warped alongside it. Really? But then as your playing gets better, it, you know you're sobering up. Okay. I think somebody like else is fighting. For... Someone's hiding. Someone's near Somebody, us. Oh my Somebody's gosh, fighting the what fort, is happening? I'm sorry, I realize you all are playing a game. I'm just drunk, is all that's going on here. I'm also protected from scurvy. <laughs> oh, I got thrown. Somebody got me. I'm trying to get him. Somebody got me. him. Okay, so I just got the achievement. No, no, I'm throwing up too. Okay, I was about to say. <laughs> yep, so there's a sloop pulled up at this island. Ooh, should we ruin yeah. their day? We could oh. ruin their day. How, That's how, not really how their could day. I possibly? I can't <laughs> get up sanctuary. these stairs. <laughs> <laughs> how long does this effect last, Walter? What have you done to me? Oh, like 17 minutes. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, so if you come down, if you go to the cabin's court, you can take a nap on the bed, and the cat will actually help you. I'm lying again. None of that works. <laughs> That's me just making stuff up. <laughs> No oh, wait, this is a fort or this is a an outpost? The fort. So oh yeah, outpost on the right. That's I think that's sanctuary outpost and we're heading to the fort in the right. in the distance. So I should actually answer uh, Todd Manette's original question about whether the game provides a tutorial to help people learn not to drown. Yes, there is a tutorial. When you first start the game, there's a nice little single player, uh, you know, explore an island, learn how the interactions work, uh, experience. And then there are very sort of like early voyages that are very simple. Just go and get a chest or something like that. They don't cost any gold. You just sort of run around and figure out how the ships work. Um, and it's, you know, I think that if you if you have a friend, the best way to go is if you have a friend who plays the game, sort of like bring them along with you, sort of have them teach you, you know, a little bit of, of, of what to do. But even if you don't have a friend who plays the game and you're the first in your friend group uh, to give it a try, then uh, yeah, you can still, there's plenty of chances to figure out what's going on. Off ship. You could actually also um, watch, uh, you know, watch watch streamers play it. It's probably that might actually be one of the best ways to do it. Uh, do, do you folks have any like sort of favorite streamers that are that are sort of really good at sort of showing what what's fun about Sea of Thieves? Oh, we have so many. We have a, a partner program with you know over seventy streamers, all of whom have their kind of cool in ways of introducing people to to the game so yeah we've got a, a whole list of people and you can we have um, an amazing partner directory live on the website now actually so if you just want to watch someone you can head to our partner directory it'll tell you who of our partners are live and you can just jump in okay so that's it uh, yeah. www.cfthieves.com correct yes Sweet. um but yeah there's a, a plenty of our, our kind of um content oh. creators we're going to need people to take down the skeletons yeah we're going to need to take the skeletons left side Wait, what's uh, just just to interject real quick? Um, I think it's really awesome that uh, I've, I've watched some Sea of Thieves streamers as well. You guys give them a whole suite of like audio clips and video clips and gifts to use on their things. Like, like they can put their stuff in stream. Is that the partner program you're talking about? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, so we give them loads of cool assets and and whatnot and a heads up when things are are coming so they can be ready. And then we also do things like Twitch drops, for example, which are obviously amazing ways to kind of incentivize people to, to go watch their streams and watch people play Save so, of Thieves. So, yeah, quite a few perks. I'm All right, I'm going to stop yeah. harassing Tommy wing or Wings and come back to the ship. I've just taken down one of the... Um... I'm shooting at this fort. I don't know if that's what I should be doing. <laughs> All right, shoot. Uh, I'm having fun, you should be doing it. Again. I need more go cannonballs, though. Yes. Yeah. We need to go fight some skellies, you said? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, wait, it looks like... Oh, I've already got some cannonballs. Sweet. Okay, well, let's... Uh, yeah. Where, where where, where, do I go? Go on the island. The island? This what? towers. This is a scary yep. island. Well. Oh, look, he's already sword dashing. Uh, I'm going to stay on the remake repairs. <laughs> My uh, sister taught me how to sword dash. Okay, I hope I'm doing the right thing, climbing up into this tower. Sure. So what we'll do what we'll do now is we'll fight waves of skeletons. So when you see them, so I'm seeing them right now. They're on the beach. You may come help me, please. <laughs> I'm uh, just making sure all the holes are filled and I've got the water out the bottom and I'll be right there. Nice. All right, uh, Sig, you're staying on ship, or are we all off? Yeah, yeah. All right. I'll stay on the boat just to position it better. Oh, yeah, uh, uh, Rang, you're not, there's not going to be any enemies up in their towers. All right, so I should jump out then? Yeah, come to the main area. The like, main Like, follow the area. light. Follow yeah. the light. Oh, wait, I'm following you. How's that? Yeah. Okay. Oh, these are darkness, so pull out. Uh, so uh, Some of their uh, skellies will have special traits to them. These are dark, these are shadow skellies, so you want to pull out your lantern first to make them pervious. Pervious? Is that the right word? Yeah, pervious sounds good, yeah. Pervious is the correct word? I'm saying it anyway. Hit them! Hit them! Now, don't let them eat that banana! Wait, skeletons eat bananas in this game? Yes, don't don't let them eat that banana. Here, <laughs> yeah. here I'm pervifying this guy. Oh, crap. Oh. Nope. Okay, this doesn't seem to be doing anything. 
So you can tell from audio cues if you're doing damage or not. Like for the shadows, you won't hear it connect in the same way bone will usually sound when metal hits it. Got it. Okay. Like if you don't hear the hollow tink, they're uh, currently invulnerable. I'm gonna go down. Oh crap! Oh, I'm gonna get killed. I'm down. I'm gonna get. I, killed. I can. I can get you. All right. I'm holding. Oh, well, Perfuse gosh. is actually a word. There. Pervious is wow. a word. Wow. Okay. I mean, I just yes. it makes sense. I was Don Kinging hard. I'm, I'm being Adjective chased. Adjective of a substance allowing water to pass through per permeable. Oh, sweet. Oh. Thank you. Thank you, Sig. Yeah, I'm having a problem. Did you just bring... Oh, come yes. on, man. Obviously. <laughs> you just brought eight more over here. Come back and hit them at least. I assume that was fine. I don't fire, know what's Fire good. works. Fire does work. Yeah. As long as they're pervious. I'm gonna die from fire. All right, I'm okay. Okay, I'm out of ammunition. I probably need to replenish some at some point. You can also find ammo boxes, ammo crates on the island. I'll see if I. Oh, a superior rowboat. Oh, that's the best kind of rowboat, right? Yeah. That's the best kind of rowboat. It's, it's got a harpoon. Harpoon yeah. rowboats are the best. Stop. Is that the only thing that makes bananas. it superior? Yes, you don't even have a stomach. Thing. You dumb skeleton. What are you doing? Eating a banana, of course. Round one. Yes. Just enjoying the taste of it. No nanner for Skelly. No. <laughs> so that was Wave just two. round one. So uh, it's, uh, seaweed? So way it, or is that metal? Beach. Oh, back up, back up, back up. Explosive, explosive. X, what? X, X. What's happening? Two explosives. Oh, gosh. Okay. All nice. right. We're good. Nice shot, by the way. Whew. All right. <laughs> you gotta be on. You gotta be on point here, Jeffrey. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what's going on. I'm just following you guys around. I'm still trying to find an ammo crate up here. Yeah, do I, if I need ammo, should I go back to the uh, ship and grab it? You can. Oh, he's ammo chest up here. Be... Oh, yeah, explosive! Right. He's right next to an explosive. The, I have a shotgun. This uh, this tower I just came down from. Darkness has got uh, has got an ammo crate in it. Adam survives has posted a pirate joke and I want to repeat it. Please do. How much did the pirates pay for ear piercing? Uh, how much? A buccaneer. <laughs> <laughs> That's quality wow. content right there. <laughs> this is why impressed. people come to this stream. I've not heard that one before and I've heard <laughs> most of them. You're like, I literally live in it. How did I not hear that one? <laughs> yeah. oh, I've got another one. Oh no. Why would a pirate make a bad architect? Why? They can only make shanties. Oh. Mm, not bad, not but, bad. I so like it. My daughter, who is uh, big into TikTok, was telling me that because I was streaming Sea of Thieves, I was going to be forced now to listen to sea shanties. Uh, she'd been trying to get me to listen to sea shanties for a really long time, and I've been refusing. I mean, they got that beat, man. That four count, you be getting into it, you start moving your body, you start chanting. Like, can't, yep. can't hate on the shanty, yo. I don't know what are they under the world or above? I can't find them. I'm at the multi-purpose room. This is called the multi-purpose room. I call it the multi-purpose room because it reminds me of like junior so, high and having all of the like the one big room that they did everything in. Yeah, totally. It does have that vibe. It does like, actually kind of remind me of the one in Subnautica, actually. <laughs> oh, um, they're up. oh, they're up top. They're up top. They're gold, so we want it some oh, fire. We, we, Fire? Do we also throw water on it? I've always been told to throw water on them. Do we want to do that? Oh, something shot me from behind. Ah, uh, it's probably Walter. I don't know. No, I can't hit you with my gun. I would. <laughs> I mean, I, I would. <laughs> it's like I'm not professing innocence necessarily. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying I didn't do it just, this time. Just not guilt. <laughs> So I'm curious, is it, maybe you guys can't tell me, it, is it water or is it uh, is it fire for the metal skellies? It looks like it's fire. Okay. Yeah, I've always used fire. Oh, now I'm on fire. But the water slows them down as well. Yeah, I throw water and then uh, blunderbuss, but it's good to know that I can be how, in fire. I how guess do I, I unfire fire. myself? Uh, do I need to jump in the water? Yeah. Oh, or yeah. eventually wears off, I guess. Oh, I found an ammo, ammo chest up top, multi-purpose room. How do I get any higher? Any higher? 
Yeah, I, I'm I'm part way up the. Oh, there it is. There's a ramp. Where are you? I was oh. partly up the multi-purpose room, but I, I couldn't find my way up the final ramp. So wait, I don't hear the music anymore. Did we finish? Are we They're on the beach. There's just loads more gold boys on the beach. Uh, right, I got gunpowder barrel you. on my way. Oh yeah. Hey. Is there fall That's damage in this game? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. They careful. also do you crippling, which is really cool to me. Like, like your legs get all busted. Like you actually oh, yeah, mess up your walk lift. cycle. Yeah. Oh, something's shooting me. Can all you right. hit that, Cat Max? X. Oh, nice. Thank you. There we go. Whoa, what Beautiful. was that? She just took out the whole squad, yo. <laughs> they... I think there was a there was a gunpowder barrel there. Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. got it. Sig is quietly and nicely watching from the beat or from the ship, or just watching the ship. I saw his uh, his VFX flash for a second. They're in the middle, and there are more gold ones. So it's oh, there's the explosive the right there. Barrel right here. Barrel right here. Oh. Don't go in there. Don't go in there. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> Got it. Nice. Ooh, in honor of Pi Day, I want to turn. Uh, yesterday, I want to read off this one. Fun fact 3.14% of sailors are pirates. Oh, crap. <laughs> I'm down. Coming. Don't give up yet. No, Fight I'm for fine. your life. I'm fine. Fight for your life. Oh, everyone's helping no, me at no, once. Oh, no. You took a bullet for me. Did I just get shot while I was uh, getting up? I think I did. Don't forget to eat food. I'm eating food. Go I'm to barrels. Food. Take food. We're going to join you guys. Oh, that's an That's empty barrel. Good. I mean, yeah, we're not carrying any actual loot, so if we get sunk, it doesn't really affect us. So that's true. Okay, yeah. So, so like, failure in this game. It's really just about the loot. It's not about, like, death doesn't have much of a cost to it. It's really just, did you lose your ship that was full of all the chests you collected? Is that basically it? Nice yeah. shot. Yes, that is right. And I think, as well, since we've introduced seasons, um, even if you have a really unsuccessful session, you, you don't go home empty-handed, basically, because um, you'll see you're getting loads of pop-ups in the top left. Every time you vanquish a wave of skeletons or do kind of a memorable action, you're getting what we call seasonal renown. Oh. So if you just play the game, even if you don't, you know, manage to cash all your loot in, you're, you're still kind of getting value out of a session um, oh, or some level of progression. Inside. Yeah. It's always nice when you can fail at something, but still feel like, you know, your time was well spent. Up top. Standard skellies? Does Rare organize community events and such? Yeah, we do. So we're, we're really lucky. We have an amazing community who, to be honest, we have we kind of operate on what we call a, a tools, not rules basis. So we kind of have this amazing sandbox full of cool things and um, give the community our keys and they do amazing events. But we, we have run kind of our own events, kind of big rivals events and, and tournaments, etc. Um, but honestly, it's more exciting oh. for us. Hey, have we lost track of the time? We have. It's almost yes. four o'clock. Yeah. Did That's the giveaway happen? Does. I think the giveaway might have happened. Yes. Okay. So sorry. Uh, I, I, we lost track of what was going on here. But uh, Megan has announced for us, I think. Wait, has she? Okay, yeah, yeah she looks has. Like, looks like we've got a draw. Okay, we do have winners for the drawing. So uh, obviously, uh, you know, everything's closed right now. But uh, it looks like uh, the winners were Todd Manette and Georgia Avian Bender. So Todd Manette and Georgia Avian Bender, you are going to be getting uh, these lovely T-shirts. Uh, so our our you know community uh, people are going to be getting in contact with you to make sure that they got the right sizes and everything. And we're going to order you a couple of these T-shirts. Uh, but then, and if anyone else wanted them. Feel free to, you know, hop over to the uh, to the rare store and pick these suckers up. And yeah, I'm sorry, we just got so absorbed in Sea of Thieves that we've completely lost track of time. So I blame uh, Rare for that. They yeah. made a good game. That's their fault. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Rare, uh, you've messed up our stream by making a game that is way too engaging. Uh, I hope that you all feel very bad about yourselves. And <laughs> uh, yeah, so I'm going to try to find a nice little... I mean, you all are still fighting these monsters. There's uh, no peace during the fort of the day. <laughs> no, there's no quiet moment. 
So uh, so I guess we'll just quickly wrap up uh, while, while this fight is going on, and maybe we'll try to finish this fight after the stream is over. So uh, real quick, uh, Seb, thank you so much for helping us out here today. Thank you for inviting me. Yeah, your uh, your ship management skills were beyond compare. Uh, impeccable. I think everyone... Impeccable. Impeccable, exactly. Uh, Walter, thank you so much for your uh, guidance, leadership, and combat prowess here. And for getting You're me welcome. drunk for the first time. I feel like I've, <laughs> I, I, I've passed this life milestone with you, Walter, and it, it's, I, I'm never going to forget it. You're going to be you know, a very important person in my life. <laughs> and then finally, uh, Christina, is there anything that you want to sort of tell the audience about Sea of Thieves? Um, no, not specifically, but I think hopefully anyone watching has kind of seen the potential joys of what is our wonderful shared, pirate, shared world pirate adventure. You can go on a sail, lose com complete track of time, get sidetracked by fighting skeletons on a ship, skeletons on an island, other people. Um, and it's an amazing place to be, particularly if you've got friends that you want to hang out with. So hopefully this is just, this past hour has shown just a hint of what's be on the horizon should um, anyone be interested in playing. So, okay, well, with that, uh, we're so grateful to... Oh, I'm being attacked by skeletons right now. Uh, luckily, Christina's got my back. Awesome. Uh, we're so grateful to everyone in the audience for coming and ha hanging out with us. If you are a State of Decay fan and you have not yet tried out Sea of Thieves and you like what you saw here, definitely go check it out. It's on Game Pass, just like uh, just like State of Decay is. Uh, so please go check it out. And uh, in the meantime, we're going to get out of here. Uh, not quite on time, uh, but next week, we're actually going to have a couple members of our audio team uh, here. So come check that out. Uh, there's a lot that we can learn from them. The audio in State of Decay 2 is actually one of the uh, sort of unsung heroes of the experience, and I really hope that, uh, that you'll show up for that. So, see you all later. And now we've got 20 seconds of just nonsense while we wait for the, uh, wait through the, <laughs> the YouTube end screen. So... Man, Brent was right. This is awkward. It's very awkward. Hey, I know. Uh, what do trumpet players and pirates have in common? <laughs> What's they that? both long. They both long for the high seas. <laughs>